Guys, there's a snake right there. It's real. They can't really hide up the people. Look, it's making animals. Right there. If you're holding on to a camera or a cell phone, hold on to it very tightly as the reserve does not allow us to stop for any drop items. I'm hurry for it. So out here, animals like to camouflage themselves. Their natural colors and markings help them blend in with their surroundings. Already seeing an okapi on the right behind the bushes. Very shy and reclusive forest animal. They have stripes on their legs that make them look like a zebra, but they're actually more closely related to the giraffe, the only known living relative of the giraffe. They have a long prehensile mouth shape, which helps them reach up in the trees and eat some leaves. In the distance, you may see a black rhino. They are nearing extinction, actually. Less than about 5,000 left in the world. Much of them remain on protected land, such as this one. Have another one right here to the left. Taking a snooze. They're often hunted for their keratin horns, which really have no benefits to humans. Keratin is the same material as our fingernails. Right up here on the right, that tan kind of does hoodoo. <laughs> and up on the hill to the right, those chestnut colored animals are bongo. Also known as the ghosts of the forest because they are rarely seen. They weigh in at about three pounds. This is a saddle billed stork. Looks like it's sitting down right now, but when they stand up, they stand at about five feet tall and have a seven to nine foot wingspan. Right here, shoulder. They're submerged underneath the water. They can actually be submerged all the way underwater for about eight minutes at a time before they have to come up and take their next breath of air. Water to the left, kind of hard to see. And while they can swim, they primarily like to walk or run at the bottom of the river. When baby hippo are born, the calves they weigh only 85 pounds, and they get up to about 4,000. This weigh in at about 500 to 600 pounds. Getting up to 15 to 16 feet in length. <laughs> it's a wild dog. Also known as the painted dog, because it looks like their fur has been finger painted. Too popular around here as they are the official emblem of the Harambe Conditioning Unit. Whenever they're born, they learn to get up and run within just 15 minutes. So have those cameras out on the left hand side. We'll be patching some more giraffe. Oh, so close. These are Maasai giraffes.
River. Rapids. And be filming. But I'm just gonna say, if you'd like to see the video, go to the description and it'll be there. Alright. Alright, guys, I'll, I'll, I'll see you in part four.